Hi everyone, today we will recap the movie After We Collided. In the opening, we see Hardin sleeping in the car. After waking up, he harshly dismisses someone who is trying to do something to him. Meanwhile, Tessa was traveling in a cab and stalking Hardin's profile. We got to know that she is starting her internship at Advanced Publishing. On her first day, she abused at a man named Trevor in the elevator for not stopping the elevator. Later, she explains that she's just nervous because it's her first day. He works in advanced publishing, too. The boss's secretary, Kimberly, welcomes Tessa and wants her to meet the boss. But the boss was on call because he was mad at someone, so Kimberly took her to show her around the intern's messy office. She tells Tessa that they fire interns after a day, but feels Tessa will stay. Tessa starts with arranging the office, and then she works through the night, falling asleep at her desk. In the morning, her boss, Vance, wakes her up and is impressed that she read and reviewed three books overnight. He takes her along to a digital publishing conference without letting her prepare. Meanwhile, Hardin gets a new tattoo. At the hotel for the conference, Vance secures Tessa a room and sends her shopping with Kimberly, preparing for the evening party. During a conversation in the room, Kimberly reveals she and Vance are more than co-workers ever since his wife died. Tessa is surprised at how eventful her first day has been, and Kimberly says Hardin told them she'd be great for the company. Meanwhile, Hardin goes to a party at his friend's urging. Molly tries to flirt with him, but he harshly pushes her away and leaves. Then, he receives a drunken call from Tessa, who says she has been looking for Hardin, but he is not around and hasn't contacted her. Hardin insists he has messaged her a lot, but she didn't reply. Tessa cuts the call and then goes to her hotel room with Trevor, where she spills wine on his clothes. She offers to wash them to avoid staining. Hardin uses her location to find the hotel where Tessa was staying. Upon entering the room, he finds a shirtless Trevor and Trevor runs away. Tessa gets angry that Hardin assumes every guy's hitting on her, but Hardin doesn't understand. In the morning, Kimberly calls Tessa to get ready in five minutes. When Hardin wakes up, Tessa says she was drunk and leaves to meet her team downstairs and apologizes to Trevor for the prior night. Trevor says he would have reacted like Hardin. Through Trevor, Tessa learns Hardin worked at Vance Publishing previously in the same role. This is how he and Trevor know each other. Vance praises the team because Mr. Jang has agreed to a considerable investment. Meanwhile, Hardin asks his stepbrother for advice, but he also thinks Hardin messed up. At the office, Tessa was looking at her and Hardin's picture. Trevor surprised her by wishing her happy holidays and an early birthday. He shows her a cost analysis, revealing that it would be cheaper to buy a car than continue using ride shares. Trevor even found a specific car for her. Tessa happily hugs him and later purchases the recommended car. She learns from Hardin's stepbrother that Hardin went to London at her apartment, Tessa finds a birthday gift from Hardin. Hardin suddenly arrives with his mother, who is thrilled, mistakenly thinking they are still together. In private, Hardin explains he couldn't tell his mom they broke up and asks Tessa to pretend temporarily. For Tessa's birthday, his mom convinces her to stay over. They talk late into the night, and she shows Hardin's childhood photos. Hardin and Tessa wreck in the morning, Tessa visited her mom and ran into her ex, Noah, who came hoping to see her. Noah accidentally mentions her father, though Tessa knows nothing. On a call from Tessa's mom, Tessa overhears that her dad tried visiting, but her mom rejected him. Furious, Tessa returned to Hardin and hugged. She took him to therapy, but it didn't work, so he later self-medicated with alcohol. Hardin's nightmares ended when he started dating Tessa, who made him happy. The next day, when Hardin wakes up, he gives Tessa another gift, explaining that he wants to see her reaction this time. He tells her the gift represents her perfect day, where she can choose anything she wants, and he will go along without complaint. They go ice skating, where she gets Kimberly's call. She says Vance is sick, so she has to care for him and would appreciate it if Hardin and Tessa could watch her son. They agree and enjoy their time with the boy. When Kimberly returns, she thanks them and tells Hardin that Tessa brings out the best in him. Later, at the office, Hardin gives Tessa an early Christmas present. She is happy to receive it. Tessa told Hardin she didn't think she would see him this Christmas, so she didn't buy him anything. She says, I will do what Hardin wants, to which he asks for a second chance in their relationship, which she accepts. 
Hardin's mother receives a call from Hardin's ex-father, who invites her, Hardin, and Tessa to a Christmas party. She agrees that they will attend the party. It's still tricky for Hardin to see his father, who seems to talk and laugh generally with friends. After getting drunk, Hardin confronts his father about leaving them after the incident, when they needed him most. His father admits his guilt, but says it's been so long that he assumed they had moved on. Furious Hardin hits his father. Trish storms off, saying she chose to forgive her ex-husband and move on, and Hardin's resentment will only drag him down and hurt Tessa too. When they return home, Tessa walks while Hardin takes out his anger on a lamp. The next day at work, Tessa tells Trevor about Hardin's argument with his father over lunch. Trevor shares that his sister struggled with addiction, and he doesn't think Tessa's relationship with Hardin will end well. Tessa disagrees. Trevor also mentions moving to their Seattle office for a new position. Hardin's friend invites him to a New Year's party, but says he doesn't want to leave Tessa alone. So Tessa decides to join Hardin at the party. At the party drunk, Tessa challenges truth or dare. After Molly mocks their relationship, Tessa attacks Molly, and they fight with Tessa, gaining the upper hand until Hardin intervenes and separates them. Hardin takes Tessa upstairs, and Hardin sees a text on her phone from Trevor, saying he is looking forward to spending some time with her in Seattle. Hardin storms off, and Tessa follows. Upon descending, Hardin tells her that he is only trying to be a better person for her. Hardin leaves her and goes back inside. When Tessa woke up the following day, she noticed that Hardin wasn't there, and he was still mad at her for the last night. She checks her phone and sees that Hardin has not replied to her last night's texts. Hardin wakes up on a sofa and his phone's battery is dead. After charging his phone, he tries to call her. Tessa was trying to answer the call and she crashed her car. Hardin arrives at the excitement scene, but the ambulance has already left. When Hardin calls Tessa's phone, Trevor answers and suggests Hardin leave Tessa alone. Hardin blames himself for the accident and leaves for London after leaving a note for her. Hardin again starts to have his nightmares. Her mother notices this and persuades him that he should follow his heart. At a farewell party for Vance at Tessa's office, Vance's son proposes to Kimberly and asks her to marry his dad, Vance, to which she instantly says yes. Trevor confesses to Tessa about his conversation with Hardin and tells him to stay away from Tessa. Trevor excuses Tessa for a second. Upstairs, she spots Hardin and drops her glass of wine in shock. Upon calling Uber, she asks Hardin to jump in the car and travel with her. After getting tattooed, Hardin and Tessa were walking back. It was her dad. It was the end of the movie. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.